A cyclone watch is now in place for coastal parts of the southeast Queensland, northern New South Wales, where gales developing as tropical cyclone Omar approaches. A cyclone watches Bundaberg to Banana, Brisbane, the Sunshine, and Gold Coast. Category 2 sustained winds in a centre of 95 km per hour with wind gusts to 130 km per hour. This is Force 13 with the developing news. And the cyclone is within 35 km to 22.6 degrees south, 160 degrees east, 890 km northeast of Brisbane where I'm located. 820 kilometres east northeast of Bundaberg and tracking southwest at 11 kilometres per hour. The uh, information was put out about 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time by the Bureau's Brisbane Tropical Cyclone Warning Centre. Omar's motion becomes slow moving during Saturday but it's then expected to track in a more north or northwest direction, remaining offshore through the weekend. Tropical Cyclone Omar is expected to continue moving in a general southwesterly direction towards the southeast Queensland coast during today and Friday while maintaining. Category 2 status. Although Omar is not expected to make landfall in the coming days, it will be close enough to produce direct impacts along the Queensland and New South Wales coast. Abnormally high tides, dangerous surf conditions expected along the southern Queensland coast over the next few days and early into next week. Seas as well, expected an increase well ahead of the approaching of Omar with dangerous surf developing about the east coast of Fraser Island, White Bay coast, north of Bagawa later this afternoon and evening these conditions are then expected to extend south over the remaining southeastern Queensland coast northern New South Wales coast during this evening and Friday beach erosion is likely to continue with the hazardous marine conditions People between Bundaberg and the New South Wales Queensland border should consider what action they will need to take if the cyclone threat increases and information is available for various sources including local government. And here's the Bureau of Meteorology's current track map on the cyclone. The Joint Typhoon Warning Centre has Omar 488 nautical miles northeast of Brisbane tracking southwest at five knots over the last six hours. Animated multispectral satellite imagery depicts a deteriorating system with weak convective banding wrapping into a very ragged low-level circulation centre. The initial position is based with high confidence based on animated MSI and supported by an 89 gigahertz microwave image. The cyclone is rapidly decaying as it tracks southwest along the western periphery of a deep layer steering ridge centered to the south of Fiji. And while the system is in an overall favorable environment with low 5 to 10 knots vertical wind shear, strong poleward outflow, upper level convergence on the north side 
and cooling sea surface temperatures hovering at or just above 26 Celsius. That's the life of the cyclone. Uh, combining to weaken the system regardless of the otherwise favourable dynamics. The cyclone is forecast to continue tracking southwest through the next 48 hours at roughly 4 to 5 knots under the steering influence of the mentioned steering wedge. Beyond 48 hour or hours, the strong steering wedge built in over Tasmania, blocking further southward movement. Trapped between this building ridge and the steering ridge to the northeast, the cyclone once again becomes classy stationary. And after 72 hours, generally drifting north northwest as the ridge over Tasmania moves northeast. The system is forecast to further weaken to 45 knots over the next 24 hours then experience a short intensification phase uh, between 36 and 48 hours as it taps into a divergent poleward outflow channel and begins to move over slightly warmer waters. Therefore, increased vertical wind shear combined with entrainment of cool, stable air from the south will serve to steady weaken the system through the 120 hour mark. The remainder of the guidance turns the system towards the west northwest. That is some of the information from the Joint Typhoon Warning Centre. Stay tuned to the main channel and the AU channel for more information. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype and my personal account on Discord fool13 at extension 9094.